Hey guys, so this is Editing Teresa. As I was uploading this vlog, I realized that there were some footage that was either missing or I just never filmed. I honestly don't know. So I wanted to come on here and kind of explain what the heck is going on, because otherwise you'd be like, what? So on Saturday, June 2nd, my sister and I went to a... Um, I believe it was considered like a road show, an archaeology road show. She was taking a class that was intro to archaeology and one of her assignments was that she had to go to this road show and just be there for about two hours, look around and whatever, you know. It was really interesting and I am really interested in archaeological stuff. I am especially interested in like ancient Rome, ancient Egypt. And then, um, paleontology. Paleontology is like, I am huge into paleontology. Woo! Anyways, guys, so she just asked me if I wanted to come along, and I was like, hey, yeah, why not? So there's a little bit of footage from that. I couldn't really film a whole lot, because this was the first day I actually had to use my cane. And I can't tell you how much that helped me. Like, holy moly, I am so glad I brought that thing. It made a huge difference, you guys. But you don't really see me walking in it because I can't really film and hold a cane and hold a person. All these things that I was trying to do it was very difficult. So just a little bit of clips. Um, but yes, that's that. And then on Monday, I actually had an appointment with the cardiologist. So basically, this is me talking after my appointment, telling you how it went and all that sort of thing. I thought I had filmed like before, but apparently I didn't. So... Who knows? You never know with me. My my filming is just kind of everywhere. Yeah. So anyways, if you guys would like to actually stay more updated on me, I highly recommend that you go check out my Twitter and my Instagram because there I actually post almost every single day. At least Twitter I post every day. Instagram I'm trying to get better at. But you will definitely know like what's going on, why I haven't been posting videos, or when I'm posting the next video, or... Just randomness that I happen to have to say throughout the day. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> uh, if you want to follow me, my links are down below in the description. But I also just tell you, um, at Twitter, I'm chronically TS. And then at Instagram, I'm chronically underscore Teresa. And it's spelled T-E-R-E-S-A, just like it is my channel here. And the only reason why I'm not chronically Teresa on my Instagram, I mean, not my Instagram, my Twitter, is because it was too long. So I was like, well, TS works because those are my initials. So, yes. But again, links are in the description. Please go follow me there because, like I said, you will be way more updated on my life. And know, like, why I haven't been posting videos often. And when I do post, I always, you know, update there. And yeah, anyways, guys, um, totally random. But if any of you know this shirt... Okay, who, please, if you know who this is, comment below and let me know because I have not found a single person yet that knows what this shirt is. I even went into like a couple of fish stores and they had no idea, at least no one commented on it. And I was like, how do you not know who Frank is, guys? If you are fish people, you should know who Frank is. Like, he's internet famous. So yes, if you know Frank, comment below and let me know. This is the literally like the only merch I own from any YouTuber. Like it was kind of crazy. I just happened to like it was like a flash sale, and I just happened to like have the money at the time. I was like, oh yeah, I'll buy it because I love Frank. He's he's uh, the king. And if you know, <laughs> that's a little hint there. If y'all know who he is, hint hint, the king. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go <laughs> now. On to your regularly scheduled program. Bye. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so whew, I'm a little out of breath. Um, I finished at the cardiologist. Good news is I don't have POTS. Uh, he said literally everything looks fine. He actually did test me like a little test for it where I had to stand up. He took my heart rate and my blood pressure and stuff and said that my heart rate did not go up fast enough and my blood pressure did not drop fast enough to be diagnosed with POTS. So I still do kind of have some of the symptoms of it. It's not an actual diagnosis of it, which is a good thing though, because you know, you don't want that. I'm sure anyone with POTS can agree with me that that's not something that you'd want to have. Um, so basically he told me that, basically he said I'm out of shape. <laughs> oh, he said my heart's out of shape. I need to exercise. And that's about it. Um, which is so hard because if you have chronic fatigue, sy chronic fatigue syndrome, you understand what I mean. That the more you exercise, the actual worse your body gets. And it's, it's not like normal people, when you exercise, yeah, you feel a little bit tired, but then it like makes you feel energized, right? And you feel better in the long run. Not chronic fatigue. The more you exercise, the worse your body gets, the longer you have to recover. <sighs> so, I don't know what I'm going to do, but he said basically my heart muscles are weak. And that's why my heart rate is so high, is because they're just not strong enough. And that makes sense because I haven't done any sort of cardio for quite a few years um, because of my other chronic health stuff, you know. Um, I used to be fairly in shape as far as cardio goes. I was, I've never been a runner or anything, but I've always been, you know, I played basketball, softball, tennis when I was a kid. And in high school, you know, you had to run the mile and all this stuff and um so i've always been active you know but since this chronic fatigue thing it's like nope i can't i can't do anything walking up and down the stairs makes me winded it's just so bad but he said basically what i gotta try to shoot for is a heart rate of 134 or, or above 134 and he said that, he's like, honestly, with the rate your heart is now, it won't take much to get it there. I'm like, yeah, honestly, like, just taking a shower can make my heart rate go up that high. So maybe I should just take showers more often. <laughs> I don't know. But he said, if I could just go for, like, a five-minute walk, like, four times a day. And he said, do that for a few months. And he said that it should start making me feel better with the heart problems that I'm having with the fatigue. Because, <sighs> yeah, it's just, it's frustrating, though nice doctor um he's the pa uh you know answered all my questions and everything and basically you know um what's the word i'm looking for reassured me that i do not have any heart problems so the stuff that's wrong with me is not my heart my heart is healthy it's other stuff in my body that's causing me to have these heart things and he said the occasional like fluttering and the weird like thumping feelings he said that's normal, everyone gets that. I just get it more often because my body's under a lot of stress and my heart is weaker. So um, I feel it more often. But he said everything that showed on there is perfectly normal. The echo is normal, everything, um, EKG, everything is normal. So I don't have any heart problems, which is, which is amazing. And I'm very thankful because that's really scary, you know? But your thyroid can screw with your heart. Lyme disease obviously can screw with your heart. So my heart itself is healthy. It's the other conditions around it that are causing it to freak out. <sighs> Does that make sense, guys? Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Man, I still got a headache, though. Like, I've been battling this, this headache for three days now. And I just like it's right here behind my eye and it hurts so bad but I'm gonna head to my naturopath's office really quick to get uh, some medications that I need to get and maybe see if she has something for migraines would be nice yeah once in the doctor did say though he's like nothing against naturopaths but Lyme disease you really should be on heavy-duty antibiotics and I'm like hmm, yeah well I'm like technically I am so it's like well yeah I am I I'm on you know just make him happy which I didn't lie I am I am on antibiotics but the thing is I'm not gonna be on them for long I'm gonna switch back to natural and it's just common misconception in the medical community that antibiotics help Lyme disease yeah let's just say that's not necessarily the case 
so I don't know we'll see my primary seems to be perfectly fine with me being treated by my naturopath for Lyme so I'm not worried about it I was treated 100% naturally last time and it made it go into remission so not worried about it <laughs> we'll see though but yeah so I'm off to my naturopath to pick up some medications and um, I might see y'all when I get home I don't know I might go to the grocery store I gotta get gas so I was gonna do that on the way here but then I um, didn't have enough time so I'm like eh, I don't feel like you know running to the doctor appointment so I'll get on the way home I actually got here five minutes early which was like amazing if I would have gotten gas I would have been like right on time or right like really pushing it so yeah I'm rambling again guys I do this too much I'm gonna go okay guys I'm back home sorry if the lighting's not the best but it's kind of dark in my upstairs place <laughs> our upstairs living room I guess is where I'm sitting um uh yeah I'm like I'm warm for one thing it's with the fan on so that's what you hear in the background sorry uh, I just can't not have it on because I'm just I'm too warm so I was thinking about it and I'm like I don't know I don't know if I should look further into this pots thing or if I should just say like that he said I don't have it so therefore I don't have it um, if you have pots could you let me know if like your symptoms happen every single time you stand up or if it's just occasionally because for me it happens occasionally it's not like every time I stand up I feel like I'm gonna faint it's like every time I stand up like sure I might feel a little bit dizzy for a second um, but he said that my blood pressure did not drop fast enough and my heart rate did not accelerate fast enough to be diagnosed with POTS so I mean not like I want POTS I don't I really hope that's true I just want to make sure that like that is an adequate test for it because I've always heard you have to have a tilt table test and it's like you have to stand for like 10 minutes and then they take your blood or your pressure I was standing for like a minute um, so if you have POTS and you could let me know is that adequate testing or not should I look further into this or should I just say yeah I don't have it and just let it be because not like I don't want it and it's not like I'm like oh I have it I have to go get tested until I find someone that proves it that I have it because no that's not the case I just want to make sure that I'm not being overlooked because I have in the past have had medical conditions where they test me and they're like oh you're normal they don't do proper testing for it so therefore I don't get properly treated until years later find out oh yeah you've actually had this all along it's like the Lyme disease happened with that happened with my Hashimoto's sorry I may have moved uh, my camera ran out of memory anyways as I was saying um, definitely with the Hashimoto's with the Lyme disease you know I was told I had it and then or Hashimoto's I was told you definitely have this and then it was like um, but your tests are normal so we're not gonna do anything about it I'm like what so they had to do different testing but of course that doctor didn't do that testing even though I asked them to so that's why I'm kind of like hesitant to just take this guy at his word that I don't have POTS because I'm like well what if that's not adequate testing you know I mean he's a cardiologist guy but like I've been to specialists before and they've screwed me over <laughs> so I just don't know guys if you know please let me know um, I really just don't want to take him at his word just to find out later on that I actually do have it but then I don't want to continue looking further into it if I really don't you know what I mean so it's just really frustrating but if you could let me know that'd be great I'm having the worst stomach ache right now so I'm gonna go for a little bit because I need to be in the bathroom for a while because my stomach is hurting so bad oh so I'm gonna go for a little bit I'll update y'all in a little bit mm -hmm.